Hey everyone, it's Neil Barnhill from the Barnhill Golf Institute, helping you find your winning way. Today we're at Evelyn Watts Golf Shop, located off of Turkey Lake Road in Orlando, Florida. And we are here to do the Wilson D7 Challenge. D7. D7, baby. And I got Mike here from Wilson. Awesome, can, thanks for having me. You are very welcome, man. We've been looking forward to do this. Um, so can you tell me something about this D7 Club? Why did y'all start doing the D7 Challenge this year? D7 Challenge, basically, I'm going to have you hit your iron three times versus a D7 iron. Okay. The results we're seeing are off the charts. We're seeing longer, higher, um, basically. Okay, all right. So. Before we get into this, we did look up, my Rogue Pro has, it's a 7 iron, it has 31 degrees of law, and the D7 has what? 28.5. 28.5. So what are you, what are y'all finding? Obviously, it's a little bit stronger law, so it's going to go further, but can you talk about the launch angle, the apex, the peak, what you're seeing with the test you've been doing so far this year? We're seeing anywhere from as high, higher, maybe a couple yards lower, um, but it's going longer and long as going as high. Okay, that's that's important. That's impressive. So, all right, well, let's get this challenge going. Sure. All right. All right, let's talk about the, the results and the data for my Rogue Pro. My average ball speed was 113, my ball peak was 36, and my average distance was 156. So let's see what the D7 does. All right, let's How'd that one feel? Tell you what, that felt really good. I didn't look at the monitor, but I just looked at it. And it felt really good. I mean, it was solid off the head. It's just got a good feel. Let's hit another one. Yeah. Little toe center, but still, it felt. I mean, this head, just like when I did a demo day, it, I really like how this performed, and I could sit out in real life conditions that day. It was, felt really good. And really impressed, you know, it's really Wilson's up your game. They got Gary Woodland, you know, he's on staff now. So, I mean, yep. obviously this has got to be a great product. Well, let's hit one more and then we'll look at the, uh, we'll look at the numbers. Okay. All right, that felt solid. That's about as good as I can hit it there. Let's take a look. Okay, let's look at that data from the D7 and we'll compare it to the Rogue. So what do we come up with here, Mike? Well, we're seeing a seven mile an hour increase in ball speed. That okay. has a lot to do with the, uh, the face flex technology. You're not hitting it any lower. You're actually hitting it a yard higher with the D7. So I got 37 versus 36. 37 peak versus that 37. Wow. I mean that 36. 36. Yeah. And the, uh, you're actually picking up 19 yards carry with a D7. 19 yards 19 carry. 19 yards. That's like two clubs. Two clubs. Holy cow. Wow. Sign me up, man. That, yeah. I mean, it, it felt good too. So this is a quality product. So that means I can hit a pitching wedge where I would usually hit an eight iron. So yeah. that's well, that's incredible. A lot of that has to do with the power hole technology. We're taking mass out. We're putting urethane in, lighting up the head, and it's just trampoline effecting right off the face, and it's going long. Wow, the technology is amazing. So hey, hey, if you want to get you a set of these Wilson D7 irons, just visit your local Ellen Watts Golf Shops or go to WilsonGolf.com.